It's not Christmas time or New Year yet. It's just time for a new video of a beautiful trip to the green countryside of England where nobody has gone before. Welcome to Just Buddy. We are now at what's the name? What's the Centebury? No. Siren Star. Very old medieval bad city. Bad city? Bad city. There are a lot of crooks here. Buried <laughs> in the ground from medieval times. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. So we are lucky because today we have a very nice weather. It's shiny, it's a little bit chilly. And something that we have been enjoying about this trip is how green it is this side of UK. It's really full of farms and a lot of medieval little towns. Uh, that is awesome, huh? What is your favorite thing about this trip until now? Uh, the suspense of driving in the car with yeah. Farah as, as the pilot. <laughs> yeah. And on the left side of the road instead of the right. Yeah. That's really used to it. This has been awful because, yeah, we are driving in the other side of the road and it's awful for us. The brain tricks you out, so I'm all the time jumping and screaming and the guys as well, so... Hmm. You have to defend yourself, Farah. It is awful, but thank God they have James, myself, <laughs> a perfect driver. The perfect driver, she's proud and she has to be proud because you are a very good driver. Oh, nice. Green greens. And it's going to old, eh? it's going to have a nice patina after a few months or maybe years. Then we got blue, oxid blue, uh, then we go Hereford, Hereford hot, the pits of Hereford. So I'm going to try something that is very, very, very typical. Come here, what is this? It's a minced uh, meat pie. Uh, so it's some meat minced with a lot of uh, herbs and, and spices. This one is a little bit spicy, but really, uh, really delicious. And then you have a pastry that is homemade around it, and they bake it, and then you eat it. <laughs> <laughs> The historic wool town of Painswick, known as the Queen of the Cotswolds, is one of the finest and best preserved Cotswold settlements nestling quietly in the hills, surrounded by some of the most delightful countryside. Painswick contains the oldest building in England, together with the famous Church of St. Mary, sitting amongst 99 yew trees, one of the most memorable churchyards in the country. Our Teasel Cross Cottage is one of many hidden away in the narrow streets of the picturesque village. The word Cotswolds is a combination of cots, meaning gentle hills, and walls referring to the sheep enclosures that are remnants from an era as long ago as the Iron Age.
our adventure lasted four days. Besides Painswick and Sirenster, we visited two other villages. Staden, a very small village with houses covered in roses on almost every facade and very well maintained English gardens. It's beautiful how they decorate their facades with those, these flowers, roses and, and other plants. It's like, and they have this garden, the, the garden like in chaos, but they order everything as well at the same time. Uh, beautiful gardens, everything's so green because they have a lot of rain. So what I particularly like here are the, the facades of the houses. They are this uh, type of yellow, it's made of a limestone, honey limestone they call it. Honey, mm. honey limestone. And um, one of the guys at the market, he, he told us, uh, remember, that yeah. uh, they are actually um, obliged to build with this type of stone. Until today, wool is still one of the main export products, so it is not surprising that in the walks through the village you can see and even get close to the beautiful sheep that graze on these green fields. Finally, we visited Burton on the Water, that although at first glance looks like a theme park with opening hours, it is a village where about 4,000 residents mainly live from tourism. Well, I have to say that I didn't expect that much people in here, uh, because we are not even in high season. Apparently, it's a lot of locals, but I saw as well buses and a lot of foreigners like me like us coming to this area and there is a lot of shop where you can just buy souvenirs and local things i'm not that much into souvenirs i like more going to these little towns that we went and buy original local things local food local but it's quite nice what are you thinking about this town we love it we like to go with uh, how you call these boats in venice mm -hmm. you know these we're trying to find them and to rent one. <laughs> Why you say like both? Because they say this is the Venice of UK. Yes, they call it the Venice of UK. So. And you think it's comparable to Venice? No. <laughs> it's okay, it's your opinion. Once you leave the center, you can visit plenty of other villages with their own charm and character and enjoy the essence and magic of these quiet places. <laughs>